When someone closes a door in your face, all you have to remember is when God allows them to close the door in your face, all God wants you to do is walk up the hall. It's some more doors. You just got to walk up the hall because I can promise you he got a better door that he wants you to go through than the one that got shut in your face. That's a fact. But what happened to people is they stand there beating on the door. Open it back up. We're going to do a write-in campaign. Why are you leaving? I got to have my job. What about my benefits? Hey, stop. The door is closed for a reason. I'm going to curse the door on you going back. You will never be able to get back to who you were. The people who used to help you will not help you. The people who used to be there wouldn't be there. I'm going to shut the door on you going back to being who you were. And you're going to have to grow up and go forward because I have shut the door on going back. I don't know who I'm preaching to, but I'm talking to somebody. When you, when God really has interest in you, he will shut the door on going back. He will close the Red Sea so you can't miss Egypt and go back for the onions and end up with the handcuffs. We remember the onions of Egypt. We forgot we were slaves. You remember the good things about him, but you forgot the hell he took you through. And God says, I'm gonna shut the door. Oh God, I gotta stop and take a minute and forget about you. Cause when I start thinking about shut doors, I have to praise him.